Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learnetix. Today we are going to see that how to share any folder between Windows host and Ubuntu which is installed into VirtualBox. So let's start. So these are few simple steps in which I will show you how to do sharing between Windows and Ubuntu. So I will share you this document if you need otherwise all the information will be I will put into the description box. So let's start first we have to create a folder so right click on to the desktop create new folder and I'm just giving a name as like Nandan okay after that just right click on to the folder go to properties now go to sharing now click on advanced sharing share this folder permissions now if you uh, able to see here that group and username is showing as everyone just remove it click add okay click once find now and just drag down and check where is your windows account because as you can able to see here that nandan this is my windows account on which i am logging to my window system so just select this click ok after that provide full control change and read click apply click ok click apply click ok close so these are the first step we completed we created a folder and give the permission after that click window and r and open your cmd command okay after that i part uh, just type ipconfig as let me show you that i am i am using wi-fi so just copy the wireless lan adapter ip address which is 172.16.51.199 because this will be useful for me suppose if you are using LAN network then you have to copy ethernet adapter so just uh, make it show that you are using wireless or LAN okay so next step is just go to your Ubuntu okay inside Ubuntu this is the few steps we have to follow inside the Ubuntu so first open a terminal okay just open a terminal and we have to check that we have a cifs.util function or not so for that purpose just copy the first command copy paste it as you can able to see that i have cifs.utils into my system if you are not having this then you have to use sudo apt get install cifs utils this is a utility for ubuntu so just download uh, install it but i have it so i'm not going to install it so just ignore this now clear after that we have to install okay after that we have to check that what is the options we have so df minus space minus h here we are not having any uh, mounted and unmounted here we can see that all the folders which is mounted and unmounted status so we have to create one one folder which we are going to link with the windows share folder so just sudo make dr inside media i'm going to create midia inside media i'm going to create one folder like that name is testing folder testing folder it will ask your uh, ubuntu sudo password so just provide that administrator password okay now just go and check inside your media so click on computer media and you can able to see here that one folder testing is created but right now we are not having anything inside this testing just because we didn't mount it so just go copy this command
and in this command we have to pay attention okay in the username we have to provide the window username which we linked with the window share folder so right now my window username is nandan so i'm just giving here here we have to provide window ip address so i in the starting i told you that this ipv because i'm using wireless network so ipv4 address we have to provide this 172.16.51.191 so just go here so 172.16.51.191 let me recheck once again 172.16.151.191 okay after that save folder name which we want to share so in window my save folder name is nandan so i'm just going into ubuntu and at the place of save folder name i have to put nandan this is after that you have to put a space and this is the path location we are uh, where we are going to uh, share into my ubuntu so as you can able to see my i, I created one uh, folder name testing inside media so we have to provide the path so just testing press enter after that it will ask the password for this location means my window with ip address and the folder so we have to provide here my window password so just put into and that's all just go and check here so just create here itself we are not having anything just because in this folder we are not having anything so just create one new folder sorry new file name as testing file and type hi i am just a line just save it now just close it now just go to your ubuntu go back and once you open you can able to see that that testing file is present here and this is your file that's fine after that i also want to show you one more thing after that if you reboot your system so c2 reboot so as you can able to see that my welcome screen is coming so i'm just providing a password of uh of ubuntu okay so right now if you go inside your folder inside my computer inside media inside testing so you are not able, able to see any file here but if you will check into your testing folder here you are able to see that some file is there so the question is why we are not able to see any file because we are if we check okay let me show you also if you will check f minus h so here it is not having your mounted value so why just because after each and every reboot you have to again mount and mount your that same folder so no need to worry just history just type history just copy your command from here and paste it it will ask your password and this is your window password just my window password and that's all so just go back check your testing folder and you will able to see this so you can understand how is how it is easy to create a folder as well as share between window and ubuntu thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel share and give some comments thanks